Powerhouse have been shooting food now for over 10 years. Uh, it's something we specialize in. We love it and we're very passionate about it. Uh, it gives us a chance to be great still life photographers, but really push our creative boundaries. When you're shooting food, the aim is to produce the most mouth-watering food that you can on a, on a still image. An essential part of the team on any food shoot is the food stylist. Unlike a chef, they are there to make the food look beautiful, uh, not taste beautiful. The stylist job is, is a highly skilled one. Um, they have to have uh, a very comprehensive working knowledge of the way food reacts in any given situation. Um, how much it shrinks, how long it stays fresh, how long it looks a certain way. And then they will have to have a very precise nature in terms of moving very small parts of the food around to make them look the best. But it really is a, a good um, a team effort from the photographer and the food stylist which makes the difference in a great food shop. The photographer's job on a food shoot is to bring that food to life. The most important way of doing that is through good lighting. So what makes lighting so important on a food shoot? It's, it's the fact that in many ways you have to uh, recreate a particular mood, whether it's uh, early morning sunshine, uh, be it indoors or outdoors, uh, dappled sunshine, uh, indoor lighting, maybe an evening candlelit meal. All of those things have to be recreated within a studio environment. And it's not always uh, a case of throwing lots and lots of lights at it. It can be a simple case of um, using little mirrors to reflect light back into the food. Um, so you can get pretty specific with where your light's falling. To achieve the best results on a food shoot, um, we at Powerhouse believe in using large format cameras. Uh, these are the same kind of cameras that uh, photographers have been using for the last hundred years. Uh, it's basically a box and a lens, but in this case, the digital back clips to it instead of film. We've got quite a large props department. Uh, props being the things that you would put around your main food shop. Um, they could be the bowl that the food sits in. They could be the breadboard that the food sits on. They could be things that are out of focus in the background to create a scene, whether it's supposed to replicate bits in a kitchen, blenders in the background or something, or something more rustic or even tables and chairs, things like that. So it's great to have all of those things to hand, really, when you're in the middle of that shoot. The end result that you want to achieve with any food shoot is to make uh, the food you're shooting look its best and get that consumer to see that image and want to buy it. That's the the job of the photographer in our studio is to sell that product.